To me, fishing at old school means getting back to a simpler style of bass fishing and that basic equation of man plus nature plus fish. And no other angler in the history of bass fishing, I think, embodied that natural style as much as the late bass professor, Doug Hen. Retro bassin', kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about bill dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. In his lifelong pursuit of largemouth bass, Hannon worked to make every aspect of his craft as natural as possible, from the lures he used to the hat he wore and everything in between. Starting with lures, Hannon often observed how bait fish swam underwater and noted that snakes, eels, and even most bait fish, while they swam with a tail undulating, the head would always track relatively straight. Picture a water moccasin cruising through the water its tail may be undulating, but its head is usually dead center. And now that we have that visual, consider how most traditional bass lures move from top waters to crankbaits like this wiggle wart. They usually swing wildly side to side at the head, almost exactly opposite of every living thing in the lake. We'll get into it in episode number four, but Hannon designed a number of lures from the swimming worm to Hannon snake bait specifically to have a more natural, less mechanical action. Hannon's focus on natural didn't just stop with his lures or even the camouflage fishing line that he helped pioneer. Hannon explained that your boat is your biggest presence on the water. And for that reason, he went through great efforts to make his vessel as stealthy as possible. I found an interesting video on YouTube in which Hannon discusses the first ever boat he fished from, which was painted yellow because that's the only color of paint he happened to have on hand. He also had a smaller boat in an army green finish, and he noticed that he could only get bass to hit close to the green boat while they stayed clear away from the yellow boat. It is an interesting phenomenon that duck hunters would never dream of floating a glitter-sided bass boat into a duck blind, while no sane ranger owner would ever consider camouflage in the new factory finish. And I have no doubt the bass professor would have chuckled at the paradox. Hannon does address the topic of color in one of my favorite books of his, Big Bass Magic. I'm going to go ahead and read a section of this book which really applies to his philosophy, particularly the boat that he chose to fish from. I started with a basic 14-foot hull and a 65-inch beam. To that, I added a short deck to mount my instruments on and a built-in 32-quart ice chest. Low-profile seats and a camouflage paint job, green, brown, and blue in a wave pattern, seem to work best under all conditions and are necessary to closely approach fish in shallow water. On the topic of color, Hannon was particularly wary of yellow, which he considered a warning color in nature. Everything from yellow jackets to coral snakes uses yellow to repel predators. So Hannon reasoned that under most conditions, yellow would also repel largemouth bass. Though he sat low in his camouflage boat, Hannon also made sure to wear muted and non-solid colors, and of course, his signature green camouflage hat. Speaking of muted colors, I'm sort of dressing in the style of the Bass Professor today, and I have no doubt that were he still around, Hannon would have much preferred this hat to this one. Next week in our Lost Lessons of the Bass Professor mini-series, we'll discuss one of Hannon's most important lessons, and that is Hannon's Lunar Factor. And we'll also show you how to use this, the Doug Hannon Moon Clock. In the meantime, if you're looking for some more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here. Same time, same place. And until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.